Harris, and welcome to the stage, Ben Lawrence. Hello, friends. How nice to be out among human beings. Um, get it out of the way first. I'm, I'm not the well-known blind comedian. Uh, he's stuck in traffic. And frankly, shouldn't be driving. Um, I'm actually usually on the TED Talk circuit. Uh, so is it okay if I just do a little bit of a TED Talk? So, right, thanks. It, it has lighter moments in it. Um, I usually start with the uh, cane market. Um, I brought this cane on, it's my default cane. It's a 1.2 meter man about town. Uh, from the city stroller range of canes. Um, during lockdown, it was actually my default cane. Um, uh, it helped, I uh, fitted a taser to the end of it uh, to aid with social distancing. Um, that's the cane stuff. Um, it's nice to be getting back to normal, isn't it? Um, I mean, I regularly go to the eye hospital and uh, haven't been there for a long time, but the consultant said to me today, you do still have some residual eyesight left. Uh, but you're colorblind. And I thought, I said, do you think that's really the kind of news I want to hear completely out of the purple? <laughs> uh, things are getting back to normal. We got the Paralympics coming up. Um, a few of you know, I competed in the, the 2012 Paralympics and um, the competition though wasn't that fierce. Um, I mean, some smaller countries actually struggle to find disabled athletes to send. Uh, Luxembourg had to cripple someone just to qualify. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine said, I, to, 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 to help with my low to, my low to no self-esteem, I've tried dating. We're all grown-ups here, so are you ready for the gory details? Yeah. Um, I, thank you. I tried Tinder. Um, there's Grinder, of course. Um, one my key worker recommended, uh, Blinder. Uh, and um, I went on there and it led to me uh, chatting to a woman who said, I like meditation and skiing. And she said, do you like skiing? And I said, yes, actually, I, I did try it once. And I had a, a thoroughly good time. Uh, my guide dog was never quite the same. Uh, um, but it, it led to me meeting a lady um, at the visually impaired disco, and where I often manage to catch a young lady's eye, uh, <laughs> which she's normally grateful for. Uh, but I was chatting to someone, and she was really attractive, and she asked me back to her place uh, with her, <laughs> and, and, and we were petting on her Robert Dyer's futon. Uh, but I couldn't get it out of my head. I was thinking, is this, is she just talking to me out of charity? Is it, is it pity petting? Um, but when we went into the bedroom, uh, we've all grown up here. We had full adult relations on a bed. And, uh, but I couldn't get it out of my head. But what I've realized is that pity sex is just the same as normal sex. <laughs> except free. <laughs> um, I, do, I, I don't want you to think that, I mean, in the end though, I couldn't get out of my head, was she just being charitable? And in the afterglow, I said to her, thank you. That was a beautiful experience. And she said to me, no, Ben, thank you. Because in making love with you, I've now completed the final module of my Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award. <laughs> but, but um, I, I don't want you to think 
that I consider myself a charity case. Uh, I do some charity work. I, ch I volunteer at the charity shop, uh, the Shetland Badger Trust. Uh, and people often say to me, but Ben, there are no badgers on the Shetlands. <laughs> to which I will say, that's right. But with your money, we can change that. <laughs> um, I'll finish on this, because I'm sure I've hit my time. I also uh, sometimes collect for guide dogs for the blind uh, with my blind colleagues. You'll see us with our canes and Labradors, say, on Waterloo Station. But uh, we were there last week, and the donations were low. I'm not blaming you, but they were low. And then one of the station staff came up to us and told us that our arch enemies, the deaf, <laughs> were collecting a few platforms along. Um, because other disabilities are getting in on the Labrador Act now. Um, the shortage is quite bad. Uh, Last year, I was actually issued with a guide cat. <laughs> now, however well-meaning a cat might be, I don't know if you can imagine being guided from home to the shops, entirely through other people's back gardens. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been so kind. Thank you. So that is Ben Lawrence's first time on the Comedy Store stage because uh, one, because once a month on a Monday we have a show down here called The Gong Show where uh, people get up and they try and last five minutes without getting gonged off. And if they win that, they get a five minute spot on a Thursday and Ben won it during lockdown. Yeah. During lockdown. He had to do the fucking gig online, on Zoom. <laughs> fucking incredible. So that's great stuff.